Hey guys, so today I'm doing an unboxing video. I have my guest here, Mason. He is <laughs> he's 19 months old. He'll be turning 20 months old on the 30th. Okay, go climb on the table. <laughs> And we're gonna do an unboxing video. This is the Love Every. Um, I forget which one. Let's see which one. I know it. I forget the name of it, but I know it's the one for for 19, 20 months old. loved the first one. He still plays yeah. all the toys today. Yeah. He especially loves the plug for some reason. Um, there was, I mean, it's a good plug. I don't mean to say for some reason, like it's terrible. But um, on the book, there's like a picture of the of the little boy crying, and it makes him cry too. So I thought that was really interesting. Oh, and this is what inside the book the box looks like. Let's see if I can get a better angle. So this is a quilted critter pocket. Quilted critter pockets. And I guess it's sort of like matching. Come out. And it has a little thing so you can hang it on the wall. Mason's already digging into the box. This one is the grooved pitcher and glass. Oh, so I guess it teaches him to pour. That's cool. You can use it with dry or liquid. Oh, and this is neat also. A flashlight. Does it turn on? Let's see. It says it's a really real flashlight. Oh, there's the batteries. Okay. Mason has the batteries. I guess we need to screw that in, so. That. Let me put the batteries in his pocket so he doesn't put it in his mouth. Oh, and I love these little, these little like, I don't know what they're called. It's like a, oh. well, I love these little like, kind of like a packet or, I don't know what they're called, but it has, um, it has like activities and things you can do with the toys and just stuff about like your child's development for this age group. So this box is for 19, 20, and 21 months. Oh, and this is the realist, the realist box. The previous one was the Pioneer box. Um, so this is like a play guide. That's all the toys again. I know I'm doing this completely out of order. I should have led with this. But yeah, so let's see. There's a tab for child and you. This one talks about like development. Um, there's a tab for the play things, which is all the toys. And there's a tab for real life play. Which is stuff you can do at home. Okay. You like a flashlight? Yeah. Yeah? We'll put batteries after this, okay? And the box comes really organized. It was actually pretty heavy though. <laughs> so, take another look with all the stuff inside. Okay. This is the book. Bia gets a checkup. The last book, um, it was like Max and Nana go to the park and the little boy falls and scrapes his knees and then there's just a big picture of him just crying and then when Mason first read the book, he was he started crying too and then I was like, what's going on? And apparently in, in um, the little play guide, it says that you need to explain to your child 
what's going on. So when I ended up explaining to him, oh, the little boy got hurt, and then, um, then on the next page it shows Nana coming and and like comforting him, and then the next page is him laughing again, and happy. So once I explained to him what was going on, he was all good. But it's just kind of interesting how that happened. for the weird camera angle. I know you can't really see everything. Let's actually fix that. <laughs> showing you guys what's in the box and then I'll show you how he's playing with the toys. I'm not even sure how this works. Oh, okay. Alright, let's put this here so it doesn't get lost. The rings. Put it here. Right. You want to go play with that, Mason, while I finish this? Busy board with um with locks on it. And he's been obsessed with that lately. So this is like a cube. And it has different locks on the, on each side. It's a chain lock. A buckle lock. And then it actually opens up too. So you can put stuff inside, and when he opens it, there's like a little surprise for him, which is cool. Because the busy board, it just has a lock, but it's not like you can open the board. room on this table. The Geo Shapes Puzzle. So it's this little puzzle with shapes. Well, it's even kind of difficult for me. And they stack up. I'm assuming there's another piece that goes here that I dropped. stack up the other pieces that go inside the shapes. Okay. And then let's let's test it out on the toddler now. So I just put the batteries in here. And it really is a real flashlight. <laughs> Here, you want to play with this, baby? Ooh. 
And it's on the handle, so when they hold it, it turns on. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> kind of okay, look at those chubby legs. Alright, so this goes in the slot. One, two, or, oh, I think it's also, you can do it this way. Also, you have to kind of throw it in there. One. Actually, I have no idea how this works. So. I have no idea. Two. they each each toy came with its own little like bag to keep the parts together I know one of the toys in the previous box did that because it had a bunch of little pieces I think it was the neon thread toy toys at once and um to like introduce it one at a time but I always let him just kind of see everything and then I take them all away and then just give him one at a time Hey guys, so we've had the Love Every toys for about two or three weeks now and I just want to give an update. I So far his favorite toy is the, the board with the pictures and matching. Um, he's already an expert at matching all of the, all the things. Let me remind you what that was. So it's this one. And I give him all the pieces. I'll take them all out and hand it to him and have him do it. You want to try Misa? Uh, Where does the elephant go? Uh, Where does the elephant go? Oh, no, okay. I guess he's not in the mood. And then another thing that his that has really worked really well is the the cup with the pitcher he still needs a little bit of work on pouring but he can now drink from a cup and he was not able to do that before he's putting the elephant now in the right spot look you want to put the elephant good job yeah these toys are awesome and then um the one behind me, the red one, that was the, it was called the shoot something, shoot like C-H-U-T-E, and um, it has like four, has four little like things that go in and you're supposed to help him count and 
And from that, he learned his one, two, three. Because every time I put it in, I'll go one, two, and then when I put the third one in, one like shoots out. So that, that's a really fun way to learn his one, two, threes. Um, I also forgot to mention the lockbox that we got, which is the one next to the pumpkin. Um, he really liked that one. I like to put stuff inside so that when he finally gets it unlocked, there's a little surprise for him. So, and I would change it up so it'd be something new every time. And it was just something to keep it more exciting. But yeah, um, other than that, uh, he didn't like the flash. I mean, he did like the flashlight at first, but I haven't really. It's not like his go-to toy. I don't see him go grab it on his own. Um, the the puzzle was just too many pieces. I'll probably save it for him for when he's a bit older. And if you guys are interested in subscribing to Love Every, I was interested for a while, and then I had a friend who. Who subscribed and she had a referral code so it gave me like $20 off which I which I took advantage of and I'm glad I did because the toys are amazing oh speaking of the puzzle these are the pieces as you can see it's, it's a lot and there's little pieces that go inside there and here and yeah it's I don't think he can <laughs> I don't think he can figure out how to do that right now. I have to separate it into a little Ziploc bag so they don't get lost. He must know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, so I'll put my referral code down in the con not in the comments in the description below. And if you if you're interested, um, I definitely use the code just just because you save ten dollars for your first two boxes so that's twenty dollars and if you don't like it you can cancel after the first two Ooh. it's definitely worth it in my opinion i feel like he's learned so much just from these toys um i plan to get rid of a lot of these toys since he got um a lot for christmas as well as the love every toys every three months so yeah, can you say bye Mason? Can you say bye bye? Do. <laughs> okay.